Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, these two little balls of clay, one little ball of clay and one very little ball of clay, and we're going to turn them into a bell. So we're going to make the bell shape of the bell in the handle, and then I'll make the knocker later. So what you're going to do is you've got this ball, and what I want you to do is kind of roll it up if you need to, put it in your hand, take your thumb, push your thumb in, and then you're going to make what's called a pinch pot. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be opening, opening this up more and more. We're not flattening it down. We want to just open this little cup up so that it's more of a cup, more like a little tiny bowl. We do that just by pinching it, turning, pinching the side. We're not pulling it down. We're just pinching it. And just by pinching it, we open that up. See how we open that up just by pinching it the sides? And it might split a little bit on you. And you know what? Just push it back together and pinch. And we're pinching the side, pinching the side, not way down here, kind of up and in the middle here. Pinching and turning, pinching and turning, pinching and turning. Now that's opened up quite a bit. Now what I can do is I can put it on my bump. Now this bump is just made from a uh, fruit cup, an empty fruit cup wrapped in a very thin fabric. So I put it on there and I push it down and I'm just going to push it on there nicely and nice and hard. Not so hard that I break through the clay though. There we go. And see how it's going mostly all the way down? It doesn't have to go all the way down, just mostly of the way down. And that is ready there. Now we need to make the handle out of this little one. So we're going to roll it in our hands like this. Turn it, it turns into a little slug and then we're going to give it a squeeze and another little squeeze and we're going to roll it on the table and then it should be like a little slug. Not a thin little snake and not like a little worm, like slug, a little fat. All right, so we have to then fold it like an arch and put it on for our handle. But see, it just falls off. So how do we glue clay together? Let me show you how we glue clay together. First, we have to do something called scoring which means we have to make little lines. So we make little lines here, and we make little lines there. And then we've got to put little lines where it's going to connect. So a little line there, and a few little lines there. And then the glue that holds it together is just some water, which we'll paint the water on here, paint the water on there, paint the water here, paint the water there. Pop on our and see, that doesn't fall off nearly as much. It fell off a little bit though, so guess what? There's still one more step. Our last step is to smooth it out. So we don't want to see that little seam there. We want to smooth this out like that. Smooth it out. Smooth it out with our little fingers. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Smooth, smooth. And if we need to, we can smooth out the rest of our bell so it's a nice smooth bell for us to paint on next week. Then, when it's a little bit dry, what I will do is I will come through with a straw to make the holes so that I can tie on the knocker. So I'll just put a, a hole right there, and a hole right there, and then I'll pull this fabric out, pull that bowl out, and see, it keeps the form just like that. And I'll have your name on the inside. And we can paint these after they have dried and have been put in the kit.